Good morning guys from Mexico City. The best way we've learned how to get around here or heard how to get around here is by taking one of these hop on hop off buses and there's four different routes and we are going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay guys, so our first day in Mexico, we're going to try and keep it easy on our feet and see as much as we can. We're going to do the hop on, hop off bus tour. We catch that tour right by the cathedral if you're staying in the centro. You can, you'll see a bunch of people right by the cathedral selling the tickets for you. Good morning, hear the bells? So there's four rounds. We're going to take the central one first. We're going to plan on doing uh, two each day. So you can hop on, hop off, so all the sights you might want to see. When you get when the bus pulls up to that spot, you can get off, go in and spend as much time as you want. Then you come back out to that drop-off spot, and then when the next tree bus comes by, you just jump right back on and continue on. And it's guided and has Wi-Fi and stuff, so you can hear it in like nine languages or whatever you want. So the Turi bus is an excellent option to see some of the main historical sites of Mexico City. It is easy to use and also gives you a good look at what the city has to offer without wearing out the soles of your shoes. When you get on the Turi bus, they have these uh, headphone jacks. So you can hear in 10 different languages. You can listen to the tour in 10 different languages. They have Wi-Fi and everything. But you do have to bring your own headphone jacks. They plug right in, select your language. Pretty slick. And they have USB chargers if you need that as well. So our first hop off from the Turi bus is at the Museum of Anthropology. We're very excited about this. But again, you just get off any one of the, I think there's 16 stops on ours, and then uh, hop back on when the next one comes by and walk around, check out that area. The red line is the most popular one. Some of the sites you will see are the Museum of Modern Art, the Independence Monument, of course, the Zocalo area, Independence Plaza, the Museum of Anthropology, and the Revolution Monument. The great thing about this route is it has 16 stops and you can hop on or hop off to explore more wherever you want to. You will notice on the map that some of these stops have two colors, a red and a green or a red and an orange or a red and a purple. Those are stops where you can catch some of the other routes. So if you are at one of these stops and you wanna stay on the red line and you get off, just make sure you get on the one that says Centro. Otherwise, you can jump on the green bus going to Coyacan. Note that as we stayed in the Zocola area, in order to take the green line, we had to get on in the Zocola and go up to 14. Once we're at 14, we we're able to hop on over here and then take the whole route all the way around to get to Koyakon Park. It did take about two hours to get there, but as you can see, once you're there, there's only a couple more stops to get back home. So it doesn't take as long to get home as it does to get there. Your other option, from the Zocola area would be to jump on the purple line to go over and see Basilica de Guadalupe. We recommend seeing the Basilica. We did not use the purple route. We ended up taking a tour, but it's definitely worth the visit. Behind us is the Monument of the Revolution. It started in 1910, it was actually going to be the Federal Legislature building. But then the Spanish or the uh, Mexican Revolution broke out, and so construction was obviously halted during the war. Once the war got over, they decided to make it the Monument of the Revolution. And it is 220 feet high, and it is the largest triumphal arch in the world. When you start the tour, you will be in the subterranean level, which was really pretty cool. The 
The view from here was pretty cool, but wait till we get to the top. Okay, so to get to the outside highest point of this thing, we have to take these stairs. Almost there. Okay guys, I made it to the top. The view from up here is amazing. kids playing in the fountains down below that I took a video of earlier. This is what they look like from up on top. So now that we made it to the top, we have to go down. But look at what you climb. You literally, literally climb the interior of this building. It's crazy. Right inside that hole there is where I did a peek out from the stairs when I was coming down from here. It's kind of crazy, right? Well, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought it was amazing. Until all of a sudden, first time I've ever been afraid of heights in my life, but I'll tell you what, that observation deck up there, ooh, if, you're, if you don't like heights, you are not going to be comfortable. So. My loving and supportive wife did nothing but make fun of me and start talking about all these hatches. And okay, guys, if you ever met my husband, my mom is afraid of heights. And every time she gets near heights, he gives her crap. Like, he'll throw stuff at her. He'll make her get closer to a railing on a bridge. Never. He, like so, yeah, so I had to give him just a little bit of shit just for my mom. No, never. Not only is it a beautiful monument Trump, it's also a mausoleum. In each one of the four pillars lies a person who was very important to the Mexican Re Revolution, buried in each one of these. Guys, definitely the way to go. It was $25 for both of us for two days to do all four um, routes. So definitely worth it for us for these next two days to be able to use these buses and go see some of the more important ones we want to see.